Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 application framework. This is our partner 63. Inside this video, we will start our CRUD application and inside the very first video of this application, we will see application settings. Now if you go to the next step, so inside this video, we will download and install Laravel 8 setup in our system. We will connect a database with the application and next we will create a model, migration and a resource controller file. So first of all, we need to download. So back to browser. This is laravel.com which is official website of Laravel. So simply when I click on this documentation, here inside this getting started we have an installation link. So simply I am clicking on that, scrolling here and inside this documentation we will have a composer command to install our setup. So by the help of composer we need to download and install application in our system. So while downloading this setup your system must have a composer. So if you are wondering about how can we install a composer inside Ubuntu system, so for that we have an article over this blogging website. So if I scroll down and here we have how to install composer in Ubuntu 18.04. So let's say that I need to copy this command back to terminal. So right now we are inside Laravel folder. So what I will do simply I have copied and pasted that command inside this terminal. So let's say that the command is something composer create hyphen project laravel forward slash laravel and simply let's say device underscore app. So this is the command we are going to run. So if I copy this command back to slide pasting it here and this is the simplest command we are going to execute to create a device app setup. So pressing enter. As we can see that the installation process now has been started. So we need to wait for a while because it will download all the setup. And here as we can see installation process has been now started. So successfully guys now inside our system we have a device underscore app setup. So back to directory structure. So as we can see, this is the setup what we have downloaded. So go inside this setup. First of all, I need to open this setup into my VS Code editor. And also, if we back to terminal again, let's type LL which list all the directories what we have inside this Laravel project folder. So let's say CD device app and inside this device app folder we have all the laravel files so first of all what i will do simply go here or let's say the application we have open inside this vs code so as per the point we have done the first point now in the second we need to connect a database with the application so for that we need to create a database so back to browser Go to phpMyAdmin, click on databases and let's say that we are going to create device app as a database. So pressing enter, database created successfully, back to editor, open up .env file and inside this .env file, we will pass the database details inside these keys. Here we have db connection, db host, db port, db underscore database. So in our case, this is the name and for the username we have something like admin and admin at the rate 1 to 3. So simply we have connected our database to this Laravel application. So now in the next point, we need to create a model or migration file and a resource controller. So back to terminal. So as we know to create a model we need to run a artisan command called php artisan make model. So simply if I type call php artisan first of all let's open all about help manual. 
so php artisan help make model so when we run this command we need to pass an argument and which is the name of the class it means we need to pass the name of the model of the class also along with this name argument we have several options if we want to generate a migration file cdo factory and a resource controller then we need to type called minus minus all if we want to generate a simple let's say a normal controller we need to pass minus minus controller to create a factory here are the flags to create a migration here we have the flag so inside this case we want a model a migration and a resource controller so we will execute two different commands also we can make all these files into a single command but this time we are going to execute two different commands so first of all we need to create a model with the migration file so for that what i will do php artisan let's say make model we need to pass the name of the class called device this is the name of the model and minus m for the migration file so simply when i pressing enter as we can see model created successfully and also it has created a devices migration file so back to editor reload this directory structure go inside this app models and here we have device.php which is a model again if you go inside this database folder inside this database we have migrations folder and by default these three files laravel provides now in the next we have a devices migration file now inside this migration file let's add few columns what we want for this cut application so the first we want a column for device name so it should be a string value and here we need to pass called name let's say we want 120 characters next we want a status column which should be a type of enum so this would be a status column here we need to pass the values so it will support 1 and 0 and by default by default it will be 1 and also inside this case we don't want time stamp values so what I will do simply I am to remove time stamps from here let's pass semicolon at the end so when we have removed timestamps from here first of all we need to tell our model so back to device.php so here inside this we need to add a public member variable and let's say timestamps which is a keyword and make it as a false value so successfully now we have a migration file and a device model when we go here let's migrate because we have connected our database so php artisan simply type migrate this command will execute all the pending migrations and migrate and create tables inside database so pressing enter as we can see migration table created successfully and all the migrations now migrated so back to database click on structure now inside this database we have devices table field jobs this is to storing or let's say keeping track of all the migrations password resets and users table so this is the point of interest called devices go and click on a structure now inside this table we have a name column and a status column now next we want to generate a resource controller in that resource controller we have all several methods which is going to help us in our CRUD application so back to terminal now if I type the command called php artisan help let's say make controller we are going to open the help manual of creating controller now inside this again we need to pass after this command the name of the class this is the name of the controller class and we here we have several options now inside this options list as we can see we have a model flag so we want that a resource controller should be generated with the model code device because device model 
points to devices table. So what I will do, simply let's say PHP, artisan, make controller. Here we need to pass a device controller. This is the name of controller class. So device controller minus R, which is a flag of resource controller. And also we want that model should be device. So pressing enter. Now as we can see, controller created successfully. So back to editor, reload this directory structure, go inside this app, HTTP, controllers and here we have a device controller. As you can see by default, the model has been attached because we have passed as a flag while creating this controller. So inside this device controller class, we have an index method, we have a create method, store method, show method, edit, update and destroy. So successfully from the next video we will use this device controller and we will see that how these methods are beneficial. So the last thing we need to do inside this video is to create the routes for this CRUD application. So what I will do, simply go inside this routes folder, open about call web.php. Right now we have the simplest route for this welcome page. So back to terminal. Again, if you type php artisan command to list all the routes of the application. So php artisan let's a route and list. By the help of this command, we are going to list all the application routes. So pressing enter. Now as we can see that here we have a table format. So right now we have only a welcome page as we can see right here. Now we are going to attach or bind our device controller resource route with this web.php. So we need to import first. So use let's say device controller and here we will go and let's say route. It's a resource. So resource and inside this we will create with the name of device. We are not going to pass any array because by default resource controller returns array of routes. So here we will have called device controller and it's a class. So if we save all these changes back to terminal and again if we type php artisan route list now as we can see that if I click on zoom out so here as we can see that we have several different routes which is associated with device controller. Simply we have added a single line but this single line as we had discussed that this is a resource route which is going to return array of routes. So array of routes indicate all about these routes. Here we have for the get request type, post request type, this is the route for get, this is the route for put type or let's say for the patch, delete and so on. All these routes all these their named parameters are calling different different methods of device controller. So from the next video, we will use these methods and start CRUD application. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.